think they both if you if you read the words in Arawak, it sounds the same. I remember somebody saying that oh it, it's 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 prevalent in the Italian language because you have Nicaragua, right. but Nicaragua was changed. Right. The name Nicaragua, uh, the original name was Nicaragua, which right. was named after the the cacique from that town. Right. The Agua was from the Spanish because the island was the the, the, the island or the country was had an abundance of water, and that's what changed to Nicaragua. So. The wa and the gua is the same thing. In Kalinago, I mean, in Locono is W-A, but Taino is G-U-A. It's the same thing. It's just right, Spanish and that's Spanish. how the, uh, the Spanish ethnographers uh, wrote it. Yeah, wrote it down. Yeah, exactly. As it, this was for Spanish. Um, the Kalinago, they had it as the French, because the French was the one that uh, ethnographic the, uh, the culture of the Kalinagos, the Caribs. They spelled it, the gua is the same as O-U-A. It's the same pronunciation, but it's in French, but wa, wa. So we say wa diao, but the Kalinan will say wa tion, which means our friend, because wa means our, you know what I mean? So there is a, there is a very good comparison between, actually similarities between Kalinan, very strong similarity, and Taino, if you research the linguistics part of it. Very, very strong. So now you can see the, the possibilities of the, the language you can tell even with the mytho with even with the mythologies of Wayahona and Hiali. Um, they, they were there are stories the Spanish didn't record in Italian mythology that the French record in the Kalinaga mythology, which corresponds with each other right. and relates with each other. Uh, if you think of the story of the Kalinagos, the Caribs intermarried with the Aidi people, which were pre arab people who lived in the Caribbean before Caribs went there. Right, correct. So they inherited the Arawak words and created into theirs, and now it's more Arawak and base with a few um, Carib words and a few French words. So, for example, um, Wayahona's father, um, Hiali, that's his father, the, it wasn't recorded by the Spanish, but it was recorded by the French, who were actually recorded in the Kainago with the Aoji. Everything is comparison the Taino culture and Kainago culture. So whatever was recorded by the French was the same story as the Taino. And whatever was recorded by the Taino was the same story as Kainago, but they're missing parts of it. So what they were in with language, it's like the word ni Taino. The Taino means nobleman, which is a misconception of the, the Europeans. Right. But um, in Kainago, it means ni, they say ni Taino. The misconception that ni Taino means uh, nobleman was that we both know that in France and in Europe it means uh, there's a word called Hidago which means nobility so uh, it was recorded by Las Casas he says that when, uh, Christopher Columbus he thought these people who worship these high ranking caciques of the important people he thought they were noblemen Hidagos right. and uh, phonetically Hidago and Nitaino sounds very similar right. And this is the misconception that it means right. nobleman. And they were making that comparison uh, in how you know they were living in their culture in Spain. Yes, they were living right. in the country of Spain. They, you right. know, they, lived, they got royalty, nobility. You know, um, that's what they know about. It's kingship. You know. Right. So you can see Nitaino and the Kainago word Nitaino is the same. And what it means is my relatives. You know my relatives or my progenitor or my friends you know what I mean so uh, it makes a lot of sense all my people you know so uh, if you really pay attention to the Karnago language base you can see you can find a lot of mis discrepancies that was actually recorded by the Spanish and Italian language because the French did a great job recording the Karnago language and definitions you know what I mean